morning. John made his first omelet ever for me right there. And it looks pretty good. I just caught them all. Oops. And we're going to go let it go. Where? In the back there where it won't take holes. Yeah, we just let them all go. He should be fine here. We're at the library right now with all the kids. The town historian is here, and he's going to do a speech on, I don't know exactly what, but something about history of the town of Boston. It should be interesting. I thought no one was going to be here, but all the parking spots are full. Except for one. Well, except for the one right here. But, uh, oh, it's full. All the parking spots in the library are full. That's amazing. So I guess it's a busy thing. Also walk around and show it. Turn it sideways so you can see it. Mm -hmm. Here it is, John. Nothing to do with a gun. What do you say back there? I don't know what he... Uh, <laughs> telephone? No, uh, speaking of telephone. You look through it? Well, yeah, you can look through it. That's not, no, that's not its purpose in any way. It is, well, you got it. I wonder why you would know that. It is the buggy whip holder. It sits oh. on the side of the seat next to the driver. When he's not using the whip, he puts the handle in here. And the reason Muriel would know that is it came from Ketchum's. It originally came from Ketchum's hardware store, which for those of you who have not been around here as long as some of us have, um, just has been a tattoo parlor at the end of Lake Hill Road, right at Boston Lake Road. That was Ketchum's hardware store. It takes a lot to actually saw this thing up and down through ice. The estimate that I have been given um, on Boston Lake is it in days gone by, it was using average maybe 13 inch depth. And what they would do on most lakes with these saws is they would cut, they would cut the ice in blocks that were about 44 by 22, and then whatever the thickness was. And if the thickness is around 13 inches, that block of ice will weigh approximately 340 pounds. That's a mighty heavy thing to be picking up. So they saw it with that saw, and they stab it with this, and pull it up onto a sled. And then they put it in the ice house. And for those of you who don't know how the ice houses work, they're incredibly good preservation techniques. You put a layer of ice, a layer of sawdust, another layer of ice on top of that. Because there was so much ice all together in one place, and because of that sawdust, which has natural insulating factor to it, this ice would last well into the summer. And that's when they needed it most for the ice boxes. For those of you who are, many of you here probably don't remember the ice boxes that existed. Right? Some of you I know. <laughs> Peter, what was your favorite thing about the history thing tonight? Um, that about the caves. Caves. Right. What about the caves? One guy got trapped in it. He had to drill down. Uh. And try to get the guy, but the, the after he died. Yeah, that was a long time ago, wasn't it? In the 1930s. Then they hired some people to go get the guy, and they put him in a glass tube, and somebody stole it. Then he saw the foot on the ground, and the, and the man in the tree. Okay. John, what was your favorite thing? Mm, I liked all of it. Yeah, you liked all of it. What do you like the best? A carousel at, at a park near Balsam Lake, um, and they in the early teens. And if you caught a gold ring, you would get a free ride, which was five cents. If you got if you got them, you would get another free free ride. So then, but then it got 
the business didn't last long enough. Yep, so you know why? Probably because people kept getting free rides. <laughs> and now it's probably because of prohibition. And Charity, what was your favorite thing? Getting to hold Lydia? <laughs> uh, I guess so. Uh, yes, the love story. Oh, yeah, tell us about the love story. Early 1800s, they had a newspaper called the Cupid's Arrow. I think yeah. it was. Yeah. And the guy placed an ad in the newspaper for somebody, and he got someone, and they wrote for, I think it was for a few months, and then they got married, and then the lady got wanted to get divorced after six months, and then she found out she was pregnant. Okay. Lydia, what was your favorite thing? Train! The train? Yeah, he told us a couple of stories about a train. Campfire, campfire. A campfire? Yep. Oh, the guy that threw this thing in the campfire? Yep. And then they grabbed it back out and they found out he was a traitor. Yeah. Yeah, that one? We found out a significant event happened 200 years ago today. And that was the White House got burned down by the British. And September 23, 1814.